absolutely love cookouts. Good food, cool drinks, and the company of family and friends. Every year I throw a big cookout at the ranch at the end of summer. However, I'm no grilling expert, so this time I wanted to bring in the big guns. I've invited Chad Decker from the world famous Heart 8 Barbecue here in Stephenville, Texas to show me a little bit about how he does grilling. And my friend Stephanie Noose is gonna come over and help me cook some great sides. Come on y'all, the whole gang is coming over today on Southern Fried Skinny Fied. Paige, I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming out you to the bet. ranch. I wouldn't have missed it. Oh, good to see you. So good to see you too. Oh, it looks great out here. Thank you. Well, it's time for our annual uh, end of summer cookout. Well, I'm so glad you called. I've been looking forward to it ever since. Good. I'm so excited. And ever since you came out and catered the spring branding every year, everyone's like, we love when Chad comes Well, it's one of our biggest highlights too, for sure. Good. Well, they uh, requested a barbecue. I couldn't think of anyone better. So glad you we're called. Gonna have a big party tonight. Sounds like and it. It's time to go get your grills heated up. Okay, let's get it, All right. get it hot. Come on. I started some coals before we left town over okay. there a while ago, and I'm just gonna add a little wood to it and get okay. it started, so we'll have something to cook on this afternoon. Sounds great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then what kind of wood are you using? This is mesquite. This okay. Is all we use is strictly mesquite, all natural product, and... Uh, no charcoal. No charcoal, no, no artificial additives. It's just good old-fashioned mesquite, and we try to do our best to eradicate the mesquite problem one tree at a time. Well, uh, let's figure out. You brought some meat? Yes, ma'am, I sure did. Lots of kinds. I got enough for everybody. We've got some sirloin, a little mm -hmm. sausage, and pork ribs this evening. That so. sounds so good. Yeah. Well, for our sides, not having any potato salad oh, and macaroni and cheese. Oh, is that what we're gonna, what do we got? What do we got? Well, I'm gonna make a watermelon serrano salad. Need to pick up some watermelons from uh, Little John Serrano's Lime and Mint. And then I called my friend Stephanie Noose, who you know. Oh, yeah. The well, Nooses. Stephanie will. You bet. She's going to come out with Ted and uh, Weston and White, her little cowboy. Oh, yeah. And... The little rugrats are going to run around. Yeah. Huh? Well, good. <laughs> she's really big into um, eating healthy and all, so she's going to come teach us how to make her healthy kale salad. And we need to get some kale, some carrots, some limes, um, lemons, pecans, pumpkin seeds, and honey. Pecan. and. I'm gonna get some cucumbers and strawberries and more pecans. Sounds good to me. Well, this watermelon serrano salad is gonna be so refreshing, and I think I'm gonna make a believer out of you uh, yeah. on eating some kale. Sounds good. It's gonna be a first time for me for sure. <laughs> All right, well, how long till those colds We've are? We've got ready? about an hour. Okay. So it'll be just about enough time to go get what we need. All right, let's head to Little John's. All right, sounds good. All right. Well, Chad brought the meat over, but we had to head to Little John's Farmer's Market to pick up our fresh produce. I can't believe Chad's never seen kale. Hey, Sherry. Hey, how hey, are guys. you, Paige? Hello, Paige. Hello, Hello Jim. How are y'all today? Good. Pretty good. Oh, pretty good. It's been a while. Yes, it is. Well, we're actually having a uh, end of summer grill out. Had to bring the meat man, and uh, <laughs> so we came to get some vegetables and sides and fruit for tonight. And uh, I already got a place set for y'all, so better you cancel your plans and come on out for dinner at the ranch. That ranch. sounds great. I bet we can do that. Yeah, plenty, that of plenty, yeah. of plenty of fun. Plenty of fun. Plenty of food, plenty of fun. Yep. All right, you're welcome. Well, we're going to go get our ingredients you know, and yourself. We're show here. him what some fruits and vegetables look like. There you go. Okay. Hey, good to see you. We can help you holler. We need a watermelon for sure, but I don't want your arm to get tired, so we'll get it on the way oh, out. Well, thank you for the consideration. <laughs> All right, do you know what kale looks like? I have no idea. <laughs> well, let me introduce you to kale. One of my favorite vegetables. It's the most, one of the most nutrient dense and healthiest on the planet. It's like a souped up lettuce. Oh yeah, like a souped up lettuce, big time. So we'll put this in here. And then I believe we're gonna need some serranos for my watermelon oh. salad. You like heat? Oh yeah. Okay, we'll get a few. I'm gonna grab some lemons and some limes. Mm-hmm. Add a lot of flavor. Put those in there. We need some carrots for Stephanie's salad. All right. And I'll grab a few more for the horses. Just for good measure. Great huh? loves right. carrots, yes. And I think that's everything we need here. Nope. All right, and then I think the mint that I need is out in the greenhouse, so we'll go this way. Head that way. 
I love getting fresh herbs uh, to use in my cooking, whether okay. it's with fruits or vegetables or in drinks that I'm making. It gives so much more flavor than dried herbs. I just planted some in my garden, but it's not grown yet, so I figured we'd get some fresh mint here. Perfect. I'm gonna be using it in my watermelon serrano salad and oh, yeah. in uh, my infused fruit water that I'm making. Sounds good. We'll get a good bit of mint. Smell how great that smells. Oh, that smells nice. Yeah. Really good. Just gives so much flavor without adding like a lot of salt or fat and right, things like that. Right, so right. hopefully I'll teach you yeah. some ways to use some fresh herbs in your good. grilling. Looking forward to it. All right, let's go get the rest of our ingredients. Right. So I need like five watermelons. Can you grab them all? How about one at a time? <laughs> I just need one. Got it. Sounds good. Then I'm going to get some cucumbers for my fruit infused water. It's a great way to add some flavor to your water without adding hardly any calories. Learning all kinds of things already. Yeah. We're gonna get some fresh tomatoes just to slice up and put some salt and pepper on on our plate. Nothing better. And these are the best. Mark and Sherry grow some good tomatoes. Yes, they do. All right, that's all here. We'll get the rest up here at the front. Okay. Did y'all find everything you need? We sure did. I gotta Think get so. a few more things for the salad. Um, this honey, all natural, raw, and from Texas. Yes, we'll take that. Yes. And I'm making some fruit infused water with some cucumbers and those strawberries would be perfect. Hey, would you like some, please? Okay. And I'm gonna get some pumpkin seeds and some pecans. Pecans. <laughs> pecans. <laughs> yeah. Ty always says, a pecan is what my grandpa keeps beside his bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Need okay. more? Is this about that right? sounds good. Okay. All right, and Chad's got our watermelon. Is that what she does? Just let you punch the buttons? I punch the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> There's some kale. The souped up lettuce. Souped up lettuce, uh huh. What are you gonna do with that? Oh, you're gonna eat it. <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am, I will. Uh -huh. And like it. <laughs> yeah, and you're gonna like it. <laughs> I'm gonna put the pecans in now. Okay. Pecan. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. All righty. I think I'm the pack mule, too. So. You are. <laughs> we look forward to that. I can't wait for y'all to get good. there. Let me help you with that watermelon. I'll Thank sure you. let you. <laughs> You've carried that all morning long. <laughs> well, y'all better come together riding side by side and bring your dancing shoes. And we're going to have barbecue yep. and you dancing? Bet. Yep. You bet. Baby, we're going to take the long way home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bye. Man. See y'all. See, See, See you later. See y'all after a while. We'll okay. cut it to... When we get ready to serve it, so I'll, I'll carve it up and cut it for everybody. Okay. So. And what are the benefits of kind of cooking it whole like well, this instead of individual steaks? Actually, it, it holds its moisture a lot better, okay. and the flavor is always in the, the juices and in the, in the meat. Mm -hmm. So low and slow cooking and, and cooking in, in a bigger chunk is a, a lot better way to go than just a regular flat uh, okay. old sirloin. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. You can see I've trimmed a little bit of fat and, uh -huh. and some of the... Uh, tenderloin off of there. I'm so, completely fine with you cutting some fat off. Got the, got the fat off there for you, but not all of it. We're gonna have to have a little bit for taste. Okay. We've also had some gristle. You know, sirloin's known to have a little gristle mm -hmm. in it, so we're gonna take some of that out. Okay. And what we do, we're gonna cut, we cut it in half. Yep. This is the whole muscle, we cut it in half, and we cut it with the grain, okay? okay? And you'll see that in the muscle here, the grain, how it runs down down yep. the muscle that way. Okay. So when we when we get ready to serve it and plate it, we're gonna cut it across the grain, which okay. is gonna make, that's where your tenderness is gonna come from. Nice. So prep it with a little little rub. All we right. use this rub on everything. What do you put in your rub? Pretty typical rub. It's got some uh, garlic powder in okay. it. Uh, it's got onion powder. We do uh, we do a uh, sea salt instead of an iodized salt anymore. Uh -huh. It's a little more healthy, but it also dissolves under the meat and gets the flavor a little more consistent. Okay, so sea salt, um, nice healthy alternative. Yes, coarse okay. ground black pepper. Mm -hmm. And besides flavor, what's the purpose of a rub? It also enhances the, the meat and, and getting the color that you want, but then we use it on everything. I've heard people that they come and get our rub and so I need to heard get people some... say you can brush your teeth with it, but I, <laughs> I haven't tried that. <laughs> well, I don't know how fresh a breath you'd have, but I'm sure it tastes good. <laughs> sure. It's finally time. My end of summer cookout is here and the whole gang's in town. And Chad Decker taught me some great ways to grill some meat. It looks delicious and smells delicious. The hard work is over and it's time to relax with family, friends, and delicious food. Come on y'all, let's get to eating.